Apex Legends is dead. This is a sentiment I hear all over the internet. However, with season 20 right around the corner, we need to talk about this because we are all about to witness the biggest resurgence of a game, possibly in FPS gaming history, because season 20 will save Apex Legends from the nosedive in popularity it has taken, but it will also revolutionize the genre as a whole. But why? How will a single Apex update save it from the massive decline in popularity it's taken in the last few years? Well, let's talk about it. Okay, so season 20 will be bringing some groundbreaking and revolutionary additions to one of the biggest games in the genre. But what are these new pieces of content? Well, let's start this by talking about one of the most controversial updates, which is more of an overhaul. And that is, of course, the new Evo Shield leveling system. So previously, you would deal damage, and after a certain amount of damage, your Evo would upgrade. However, in season 20, the amounts required will skyrocket to the point that it would take around 2k damage each game to rank up to the max level Evo. And also, you can now no longer do an armor swap in the traditional sense. So prior to Season 20, we could kill an enemy and take their armor, no matter the level, and receive a fully charged version of that armor. However, this is getting changed. So instead of having a permanent next level Evo, you instead have a temporary shield increase that simulates the next level up. So it's very similar to Conduit's tactical ability. But wait, how are we supposed to hit 2k damage a game? That's fucking insane. It's not like we're a Timmy. This update sucks. The game is- up, 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 up. Shh. Now that's a fair point, but Respawn have thought about this and have added new interactive objects around the map as well as rewarding players for interacting with loot chests with class-related compartments. And they will also be rewarding players for interacting with class-related world objects such as ring consoles and scan beacons. And these activities are going to reward a shit ton of Evo points. That's of course if Respawn don't change it last minute. Please don't, this actually seems like a pretty good thing. Now, of course, a lot of the Apex players being the whiny little children that they are, are starting to complain about this. They're saying it's a really bad change and it'll kill the game even more, but I completely disagree. Because from a game design perspective, this encourages aggressive plays, but it also heavily rewards and encourages teamwork. Now, previously, these were two things that the game could never equally reward players for. But this whole rework encourages players to use objects around the map that give incredibly useful information like the ring consoles, and that information they gain from these interactions could lead their team to make an advantageous position that wins them the game. But this change to the EVO system also makes fights more balanced, because is there is a much lower chance that you'll continuously run into the same three sweats that always managed to have red armor before the first storm because they went and curb stomped everyone in Fragment. And it also makes it so you can't just damage farm and become stronger than everyone else. And I feel that that is an incredibly good change as it keeps the game fun instead of frustrating. However, this EVO update comes hand in hand with Apex's new mechanic and this feature will revolutionize the battle royale genre. And now I am of course speaking about Legend Perks. Okay, so in Season 20, every single legend will now come with four different perks that come unlockable with the upgrades of the Evo from white to blue and blue to purple. However, only one perk per rank can be unlocked. This is an update that I am personally really excited for because it removes one of the biggest issues that was killing Apex in the first place, and that was of course the staleness of the game. Apex is turning five years old this season, and it's safe to say that it hasn't stood the test of time. The game was failing to innovate and it was becoming really dry, and it was just getting left behind in the dust by games like Fortnite? Genuinely, how has Fortnite had this big of a resurgence? Like that is putting Apex to shame there because Fortnite sucks ass. I mean, for fuck's sake, the game literally has a Lego game inside of it. Like what? What is even the point of this game anymore? But just putting that to one side, every new update for Apex felt the same because it was either a new LTM or map or legend or another $500 cosmetic. I am not willing to tell you how much money I have spent on this game. And while yes, these features were fun for a little while, they dried up pretty quick and it's safe to say that after so long of such little content, people started getting tired of the game. And that sentiment really isn't helped by the fact that every single game of Apex just starts to feel the same after a little while. It's really repetitive despite how many changes there are in the course of each match. And I really do feel like this perk system is a really good sign that Respawn are finally listening and doing something really unique because to my knowledge, there hasn't been a major Battle Royale game that has had this type of RPG leveling system. The perks add an entire 
entirely new level of creativity to the game as there are so many different team comps all with different skills and it really makes it so the world is your oyster in Apex because you can play any way you want to and it also makes the game less stale because every team you encounter will always be so different. That is until the pro players come up with a new meta and everyone just defaults to that like they always do. But that's besides the point. There are so many new opportunities for different play styles and it will definitely make the game so much more fun. This update is finally giving a unique appeal to Apex again and I hope that Respawn continues upping the game's qualities in ways like this. And speaking of the game's legends, this perk system means that all of them are getting a rework and Respawn has really taken this as an opportunity to fix many issues that made certain legends, <coughs> Lifeline and Seer, basically useless. And all of these points I've just spoken about are all separate reasons as to why Season 20 will save the game. Because it finally fixes the biggest frustrations that the community has had with the game for years now. However, there is one of those frustrations that we haven't spoken about yet. So let's address the elephant in the room, and that is of course Apex Ranked. But just before we get into the world of Ranked, if you are enjoying this video then please do make sure that you hit that subscribe button as it really helps me out and it also goes a really long way in helping me making more videos just like this one. Anyways, thank you and let's get back to the video. It's safe to say that ranked modes inside of FPS games will always be one of the biggest draws to the genre, and Apex was no different. People already loved the game from Season 0, so when Respawn finally dropped the Ranked Leagues mode way back in Season 2, people were so excited. At the time, this game used a very basic RP system, but this system did have its issues. The main offender being that if you just played rank, then you would hit Predator after a certain amount of time, which isn't necessarily a reflection of skill, so therefore it made the system really bad. And the system had a load of changes throughout the seasons, but it was said that season 13 was the quote unquote golden era of ranked, as this was when the RP system was the most balanced. And that season was also incredibly difficult. But then the ranked system took a massive fucking nosedive because it sucked ass in season 17, didn't it? Season 17 made the gigabrain decision to remove the RP system and switch it to the infamous LP system, which was very easily exploitable. Yeah, so the ladder point system doesn't really work. And along with the new skill based matchmaking, or SPMM for short, it led to a season where it was genuinely more impressive to be in bronze than it was to be in masters, simply just because of how easy it was to gain LP. This was because placement of the matches became the primary metric of how much LP you will gain. And this system failed horrifically, and it led to the death of ranked, as the rats were on the rise, and it just sucked the fun out of the game. And also, can we just speak about how the fuck did it get to the point where sitting in a corner for the entire game was more valuable than actually playing well? Like, like, respawn, how did you fuck it up this much? Then season 18 really wasn't much better because kills became worth something again, but so was placement. And it led to a bunch of sweats aggressively pushing, then ratting till the top five, and then aggressively start pushing again. Every single game. Oh yeah, and they also tanked the amount of LP that was given, and then also added an entry cost into rookie because yeah, fuck new players, I guess. All praise our great and immortal leaders respawn. This season sucked so much. The fun of the mode was completely removed because no matter how much effort you put into these games, it nets you basically fucking nothing. And all of this history is necessary because it shows how players feel towards ranked right now. But season 20 will completely change this forever, assuming they don't fuck it up. So in season 20, ranked points will be brought back, SBMM will be removed, and the biggest change of all is that all players will be reset back to one RP. And therefore, all players, no matter the skill they have, will be playing against each other. Now, of course, this is going to be pretty rough for the first few days, if not weeks of the season, just while pros get back into pred and everyone gets back to where they need to be ranked wise. However, this is a big win for the game because it removes all of the frustration that came with ranked, like players in plat being put up against preds just because they were masters once and so their MMR is just fucked. And they also announced that they are removing the promotional trials that were put in in season 19, to which I say, thank you Jesus, holy fuck, it's over. This ranked update is the thing that gives me the most hope for Apex, as it finally means that respawn of actually listened to the community and made them the priority. Instead of just doing what they like and not really thinking about the community and not taking criticism of those things, which they've been doing for years now. And now this is a tiny bit of speculation, but I think that this is the result of the amount of videos that fans of this game have made about why the game is dead and why it sucks. Which trust me, there is an ungodly amount of those. I think that this has really made them change their attitude, and I hope it continues into the future as well, because otherwise we'll be right back in the position we are 
are now. And since Respawn are finally listening to creators now, um, yeah, please stop making $500 cosmetics. Please. Thank you. Now, what I said at the beginning of this video about Apex taking a nosedive in popularity is true. Over the past few months, if not years, the player count and average viewership of the game has plummeted into the fucking ground. And it has hurt so many creators that stream and create content about the game. Like, these people have lost so much money from the decrease in viewership, but the decline of Apex is an entirely separate video that if you want to see, then hit that like button and comment down below. This season marks the beginning of a new era of Apex, and for now, only time will tell if season 20 will truly save Apex Legends from its death. Thank you for watching.